Okay, so here's the living room, and this is the projector behind me, pointed at the living room wall. There's my head shadow and my leg. Okay, so this is going to be difficult because I have this controller, this Xbox controller, that acts as the main source of control in here. So I'm going to use the controller to switch the level. Okay, so now the level is the proper mapping level for the corner. Um, and then I'm going to adjust the map settings so they match with the reality here of this corner. Pretty close. Okay, we'll call that good. Um, and I'm going to save these settings. And uh, then I'm going to start the level. And we'll start a different level. Just because we can do that. I think I need to narrow the field of view on that camera because it's causing it to look pinched. And so we got full control over our perspective in here. And uh, this, this scene's running at over 100 frames per second on my computer. And it's all generated stuff. There's no images in here. Um, well, I guess there's a, a map of the universe that shows up at the beginning and the end. But um, the rest of this is all fractals generated using Julia and Mandelbrot's. Um, and, uh, yeah. Anyway. Um... It's, you can't really see in this video how detailed the projection mapping is, but the projector is getting 1080p, and um, my source that's coming out onto it is a 4K, um, so, and I can handle up to 8K source. Uh, so the projector uh, really does limit my um, visibility and readability here. Uh, also, the fact that the um, two... Uh, planes, the three planes, are all at different distances, um, and the lens isn't really made for that, uh, reduces the possibility for focus. Anyway, glad you got a chance to check it out.